Hello. Yeah, what's up? How you get on, man? Hold on, hold on. Let me just... All right. What's going on? I'm not bad yourself. How's things? I'm good, I'm good. Chilling. Man. Uh, my name's DJ Mackie Mark, so nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. I'm Jig Man X. Yeah, man, I checked out your stuff, man. Like, like great work, man. Like, so are you based in New Jersey then as well? Yeah, Jersey City, New Jersey. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, how's things, man, been the past couple of years? Because obviously, like, has the pandemic slowed you down then, or have you kept just making music? And To be honest, I feel like ever since the pandemic, I feel like it's giving me more of a boost, really, because, you know, being inside, you feel me? Like, all I had, all, all the time, in the, I had all the time in the world to work on my craft. And I feel like I'm just getting better and better at this point. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you, man? Are you, like, are you, like, quite young in the game, man? Yeah, man, I just turned 18, bro. Oh. Just turned 18. Awesome, man. Like, I was... Um, I can't believe that. Like, I, 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 myself, I, like, when I was 19, I was only just doing, like, this. So, props to you, man, like, doing that. Like, it's, like, such a young age. Like, so what got you into it, man? Like, what made you want to pick up rapping and start doing it, like? It's crazy because I, I actually started off, like, in school. In school, we was learning about um, poetry. Like, it was a month of poetry. And, like, I feel like I was, I was really interested. I was intrigued by poetry. And I feel like music is a form of poetry, like at least rap. It's a form of art. It's a form of self-expression. So I picked up on it. And after that, I just ran with it ever since. Like I fell in love with it. It became my passion. I can imagine because like, you know, hip hop culture over here is quite big. But I can imagine like, especially when you were growing up, like, you know, coming into this decade and only just turning 18 now, it's like hip hop's like the most popular genre in the world at the moment. So like, I'm not surprised, like you just been so exposed to it, man. Like it's just like everywhere. Um, but yeah, man, like how have you, how did you find like your time growing up in New Jersey and stuff? Cause I don't really know that much about New, New Jersey. Like I know more about New York, but what's like New Jersey like, man? Like, Yeah, New Jersey slept on bro. Like, Tell me, it's, it get real over here. It definitely get real over here. It's, it's a lot, it's a place that people don't talk about too much too often. And I feel like it don't get enough praise as it should. There's a lot of talent in Jersey City, you feel me? There's a lot of talent in New Jersey that people go through, you feel me? I feel like sometimes it can be overlooked. But it's definitely real out here. You got to try to come out here one of these days, man. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Like, um, like, I need to go to, like... Uh, damn girl show as well like I've seen all the shows man and like when you've got a show man one day fingers crossed man like when things start popping man I need to I need to get over there man I've been to New York I went when did I go I went like years ago I was like like 13 when I went I'm like 24 now so I went like years ago when I went to New York but I loved it like it's so cool like because for us like we as British people we just see it all the time like especially New York and other places in America but to us, like, when we go there, we feel like we've been there before because we just see it everywhere on TV. Uh, it's like, you know, we like a bit, it's like nostalgia. It's weird. Like, I went there and I felt like I already knew it, but I, it's my first time going there. It's strange. But, um, yeah, man, do you watch much of stuff over here then? Like, I, know, I asked Damn Girl and she wasn't, she didn't know that much about what was going on in the UK because, I mean, you guys probably aren't as exposed to our music. Would you know any artists over here or anything like that at the moment? Or, uh, I'm fond of of Skepta. I don't know if he's from London or uh, I know I know he's. I think he's British though. Uh, Skepta, um, really just Skepta. I know I know it was one. I know it was one of them. I'm, I I was kind of I was kind of for a point in my life I was listening to a little bit of UK drill. Hey. I know the UK drill is pretty popping over there, and they they got the whole ski mask thing going on. <laughs> I know that's definitely yeah. fire. <laughs> that's definitely fire but uh Skepta Skepta's really one of the main ones that I was really listening to yeah man like he's like he's he's been popular since I was a kid like Skepta like I remember listening to him at secondary school like, what would he, what you would call high school like I was listening to him then and he's just stayed like 
like back then he was kind of like underground, but like now he's just like, like you know how they say like Drake's the artist of the decade over in the states and Canada. He he's got to be the artist of the decade if he like if you had to pick someone from the UK. Like he's just stayed so relevant. Like I'm not surprised you've heard of, like I'm not surprised you've heard of him because he's just he's he's done a lot of collaborations over there and like he's just stayed so popular and like he's just kept himself like reinvented himself and kept going and things like that. But that's dope, you know, to get to, man. Respect for that, man. Like, I I keep finding so many... There's so many American artists like yourself that I keep finding, like, like keeping up with because there's so much going on there. I, I try to keep up, and it's quite hard to keep up what's going on there, but I sometimes just go on World Star Hip Hop and, like, click through all the pages and things like that to see new artists. But there's so many artists that I'm feeling in, in, in America at the moment. There's so many good artists, it's like... Um, is there anyone in particular that you like you listen to anyone at the moment from America is there anyone from America that you listen to at the moment that you really like or anything like that um, besides myself hey. I was <laughs> Love I that. was um, I'm really on the underground scene like I, I like I like a lot of mainstream artists but I've really been on the underground scene for a while people like Duop Kane um, who else Tony Snow. I actually have a song with Tony Snow that I didn't release yet. Um, I know that some people in the mainstream I would like to work with and I, and I listen to, like people like Playboy Cardi, uh, Lil Uzi, Gunna. Yeah, like really YSL. Like, yeah, I really I really mess with uh, YSL and them. Like Thugger and them. Yeah, they okay. fire. I like Gunna. Gunna's quite, like, he's done a lot of features. I've heard of him and Lil Uzi as well. Like, I rate him. Just like what he's done for like the whole sort of next generation of people, I really rate his style as well. Like and his sort of artist image, he looks so cool. So like, move like, just t- tell me about your style, bro. Like, how would you describe like your music to someone if they had never listened to you? Like, say that, say that last part again. Uh, how would you describe yourself to someone if they've never listened to you before? Like, how would how would you describe yourself as an artist and like your style of music? Um. I would really say diverse. I feel like I could tackle different genres of music. I don't really like to limit myself to one one specific sound because I feel like that's how you put yourself in a box. But as a like, I don't view myself as just a just a rapper. Like I feel like I'm an artist. Like I can do I could do plenty of sounds. I could do I could go from drill to writing a love song and then writing a love song to writing some like trap and then like, you feel me? Like I could go all around the board and I just, I don't like to limit myself really. Yeah, man, that's the, that's the best way to do it. Definitely. And uh, yeah, man, like I, I just like what, how you are, like I've seen your videos, man. And I just like how you were like a lot of energy, a lot of people in your videos and like, how would you go about like shooting a video? Like what's your process like when it comes to that? Like, um, usually I, I usually get, an idea of a video off the, the vibe of the song, like how, how the song makes me feel. If a song makes me feel like turning up, like, yeah, I want to turn up to this, then I'll, I'll have a video of us just turning up, getting lit, going crazy, going stupid. Like, and if a song give me like sad vibes or like, like this is some real like down to earth, like then I have a video that just might be me by myself and I just, I might just be in my bag, just going, going hard. Like, you feel me? Like it really just depends on the vibe of the song and, and what the song gives me, and then I'll go off off of that just mm. to get a vibe with a uh, music video. Hundred um, percent. Like talk about nines, man, because that that the beat for that like really stood out for me. I and mean, that was the one where you were, like you filmed it in. It looked like it was Chinatown or somewhere. That looked yeah. so cool. So like talk about that, man, because that that beat for me like and that song like really stood out. I really liked that one, man. It was cool, like. Yeah, I was I was locked in in the studio with Jizzle. Shout out to Jizzle, Young Jizzle, producer that uh, we collab with. But um, yeah, like he made this beat, and we I remember we was listening to it in the studio, and I'm like, yo, like this give me like Tokyo, Chinatown vibes. Like we you know we from the East Coast, so like the closest thing we get into China is Chinatown, at least. Like, even if we're not from New York, you feel me? Chinatown is the closest you're going to get to, you feel me? So I'm just thinking, like, yo, like, this give me, like, some Chinatown vibes. Like, doo, 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 doo. so I'm like, yeah, yeah, we got to shoot this in Chinatown, bro. So we go over there. 
shoot the video. We had a blast. It was mad cold that day. It was. It don't look like it, but it was hella cold, bro. It was mad cold that day. But um, we had a blast shooting it, and that's what really came of it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Like, so talk about as well, man, because you the flow in your songs, like you've got quite a distinctive like voice. So like. Where did that, like, your flow come from? Was that just from, like, you practicing, like you said before, or is it just, like, when you go, like, when you come across a beat, is it more just, like, what comes into your head, or like, how do you go about, like, you know, coming out with that flow when you're rapping? I feel like it comes from, I feel like I take from a little bit of everything. Like, I haven't, I, I feel like I have certain influences plus me practicing my flows, plus me, like, just how the beat sounds, like, and I'll just get this vibe of the song, and then, like, from that on, I'll just, like, freestyle, or, like, I'll just get a vibe, and then, like, the flow will come. The flow will come short short after with it. Yeah. Definitely. So, like, do you have any thoughts on, like, the American scene at the moment? Because, like, you know, do you feel like it's still really interesting? Because, like, I feel like things in the UK, like we, like there's obviously loads of new cool artists coming through and things like that, but like it's starting to sound a bit the same. Do you feel like that's happening in America or do you think it's like things are still exciting in like the scene, would you say? That's a good question because I don't know. I feel like that's, that's why, that's what distinguishes mainstream from underground Mm. because I feel like on the mainstream scene, that's happening a lot. Like, it's a lot of times where, like, artists will sound a lot like each other and it's hard to distinguish. And there's times in, like, underground where it's like, ooh, this is a different sound. Like, I've never heard this before. And then it'll be another artist that's like, oh, this is a different sound, too. Like, I never heard it. And it's like, it's different sounds. So I feel like a question like that, I feel like I can't give you a 100% answer. Like, it's, it's just like, it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't know. People are gonna be people. It's hard to it's hard to explain. Like, you feel what I'm trying to say? I hear that, man. It's interesting because, like, I feel like like maybe ten years ago, fifteen years ago, I'd only ever really hear rappers that were from like maybe the south of America or maybe maybe New York. But like, I feel like now, like when I'm listening to radio or like I get tracks sent over to me. I'm starting to hear a lot, like a lot different, a lot more like rappers that are from different cities. So like there might be someone from like Chicago or there might be someone from like, I don't know, Illinois. Like it kind of, it's like everywhere now, like that's happening with us. Cause I feel like for a long time in the UK, it was like just London. Like how you said with Skepta, like it was just either you were from London and that was it. But like now in the UK, things are starting to become more like, it doesn't matter where you're from. You could be from like Scotland or anywhere like that and you could still rap so like it's become a lot more worldwide but yeah man like what do you love about the east coast because the east coast is, is a completely different vibe to like the west coast like like what what's your thing you love about the east coast man i don't know i feel like we i don't know like no shots to the west coast because y'all definitely do your thing but like i feel like some is some about the east coast i feel like we more raw like we more raw uncut like more gritty, more grimy, more, you feel me? It get cold over here, so you feel me? Like, we just more, I just feel like we more raw, more more uncut, more, more like, not real, but like, yeah, like, more, not authentic, but like, yeah, more authentic. I say it, more authentic. Like, yeah, more authentic, more raw, more cut, more, yeah. I feel like with New York, I feel like you guys, like, you got really distinctive accents, like, like, like when I hear like West Coast people, like no disrespect, but like I sometimes just hear an American accent. But when I hear you guys, I'm like, yeah, he's from New York. I can sort of tell. Like it's interesting. Like I, I do, I get what you're saying. There is like, there's like that grimy sort of like raw sound to records, and like, like you can tell when it's a New York record or a you know New Jersey record or a East Coast record. It's it's mad because yeah, you can definitely tell between like. But you know what I love? I was I like like the other day I was listening just to like G Funk. Like I love G Funk, bro. Like it's so cool. Like, yeah. I like G Funk too. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. 
Like, is there any other musical influences you like then? Is there any, any like, other kind of styles you listen to or anything like that at the moment? Or is it just like you purely like, are you like a bit like me, like a bit of a rap head? Like, like just love rap. I like, I mean, I love music as a whole. Like, anything that catches my ear, I really love. But I feel like besides rap, the genre of rap, I feel like in music, no other uh, another genre that catches my ear is jazz. I really like jazz. I love jazz. I like I like smooth sounds. I like I like smooth sounds and I like spacey sounds. Like a lot of like, you feel me? Like I like flute sh- stuff like flutes, stuff like you know like drums. Like I like stuff like that. So I feel like when when I hear stuff like that in records, it really catches my ear, and then that's what really gets me intrigued. Hundred percent. I mean. I've been listening to a lot of um, Shardy. I don't know if you know who she is. She's like a British singer, uh, but like she's very jazz influenced. But jazz is beautiful, man. It's such a, I feel like it's such a cool genre because it's like the key to a lot of stuff. Like it's like the the guys that were doing jazz, like essentially like you guys that are doing like the new school rap, you're like the grandkids of the guys that were doing rap, uh, doing jazz and things like that. So it's kind of like jazz is like the granddad of hip hop, if that makes sense. Like. Mm-hmm. 100%. No, definitely. definitely. I feel like another another genre that you probably would be surprised is rock. Like, I really like rock and roll, too. Like, people like Blink-182. I really like Blink-182. I like Nirvana. Um, What's another group that I know of? Can't think of them. Uh, I don't know. It'll come to me. It'll come to me, but yeah. You get the picture. I like rock too. For I sure. love rock. This is a this t-shirt. This is a girl. She's like from my city, but she does like rock music. Big up to her. Um, but yeah, she does rock music. So like, I do like. I lo- I love Nirvana, bro. Like, like it's just such a cool band. Like such a great like Jimi Hendrix as well. I got a shout out Jimi Hendrix. Like he he was cold. Like um, definitely. But yeah, man, like, it's so cool just to talk to you, like, just getting your perspective from, like, an American artist, because, like, I'm just so used to interviewing, like, British artists. Like, I love British artists, but it's just so cool to interview someone like yourself, like, from America. And um, yeah, man, like, what have you got planned then? I know that you said you were in the studio recently um, with YG, so, like, have you got any other ideas that you're going to come up with or, like, more music videos or anything like that or...? Oh yeah, most most definitely. We was just we was just in there last night cooking up. We was just in there last night. That was my first time back in the studio for like a good month. I wasn't in there for like a good month. Some some happened. I had to handle some. Um, but we back in it now. Just got back in the studio. First day in the studio was last night. Had a good time. We made some. We made some. We made a banger. We definitely made a banger. And uh, we got some. We got some stuff on the way for y'all, man. Like for sure. Like. New stuff coming soon for sure. I'm excited, man. Like, I'm. I really. I feel like you've got so much potential, bro. Like, I just see you, bro, and I like, like, I can just see you, like, really taking off, man. And like, I like. It's really great to see that, like, you know, like you, you're taking in, like, you, like, you seem like you love it as well, man. I just watch your videos, and like, there's a like, I can tell, like, you have a lot of fun with it, and like, that's so important, isn't it? Like, to have fun with what you do, hundred um, percent. But yeah, man, like. Um, if people want to get at you, bro, like where can they find you and everything? Like, uh, you can find me on Instagram at JigmanXO. That's J U G M A N X O. You can find me on Twitter at JigmanXO1, J U G M A N X O1. So you can hit me on Twitter or Instagram, and you can hit my managers. It's in the um, it's in the bio. So, yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much, man. And thanks for coming on. It was really nice to meet you, young man. Like, I just wish you. Uh, all the best for everything you're doing man and like keep smashing it man and yeah man i'm just excited man like you know like where you're gonna go man and like yeah man i'm excited like i really like your music man so just keep up with it man appreciate you likewise to you man keep doing your thing bro i appreciate this thank you man no you're welcome man anytime of course brody all right enjoy your evening man thank you all right bro you too bro i'm gonna catch you bro all right see you later man all right Catch the DJ Marky Mars podcast, available exclusively on Spotify and Mixcloud. Man like Skip and General and Mix and Blend. <laughs> the one and only day my career, I tell you, if you lock in and lock on. <laughs>